Welcome back to the YouTube channel. My name's Chris. I'm a videographer, photographer, and YouTuber. I make all sorts of videos from product reviews to demos to how to's to just me sat here talking to you guys about my experiences. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how you can use a Sony mirrorless camera as a webcam on a Mac. Since making this video, I've had so many comments from Mac users saying, look, can you show us how to do this on Mac OS? So that's exactly what this is. This method will only work with Sony cameras released after the A6300, so the A6300 and up. If you're trying to make this work on the original A7, it won't work. The original A7R, it won't work. The original A7S, it won't work. The A6000, the A5100, none of those cameras will work. It has to be A6300 and up. Secondly, the audio from your camera will not be transferred to the computer using this method. So you will either have to use the internal microphone on your Mac or an external microphone. And thirdly, you will need to have the right USB cable. It has to be a data transfer USB cable, not just a charging USB cable. I've got about 50 micro USB cables in my office and only a couple of them work. So please make sure if it doesn't work for you first time, just try and use a different USB cable and eventually it should work. If you want to use this method with Skype, Google Hangouts, Zoom, then please watch this video before you go any further. Virtual Camera is a plugin for OBS which allows you to send the feed from OBS to these applications and you will need this installed for this to work. Right, so the first thing you'll need to do is turn on your camera, press the menu button and go over to the toolbox on the far right hand side of the menu and then scroll along until you see USB connection and change that to PC remote. If you don't see PC remote in this menu, then unfortunately your camera is not supported for this method. If you get an error that says turn off control with smartphone, then that means that you have an option on your camera that says control with the smartphone that you need to turn off before it'll work. Then just plug in the micro USB cable into your computer and into your camera. Let's jump onto the computer and I'll show you how to do this. So assuming you've watched my other video where I show you how to install virtual camera, you should have OBS already installed. If you don't have OBS installed, please install it now. And you'll also need Sony's Imaging Edge desktop software. So if you don't have that, download it and install it. So once you've downloaded it and installed it, I want you to start remote capture. And you can see my camera shows up straight away because I've gone through the hassle of trying to find the right USB cable. When you find the right USB cable, the camera should show up. So as you can see, I'm using the A6300. So you just want to double click on that and it will just open up. And there we go. I've got another camera set up over there. So we're all up and running as far as the Sony remote software working. So the people who've tried this before have got to this stage and then it's the next bit they get stuck on. So we're going to open up terminal like I did in the virtual cam installation video. We're going to copy that text, which is in the description of that video and press enter. And then you want to click the plus button and go to window capture, press OK. And under this drop down menu, you'll see that you can't see the remote application. This is a problem that a lot of people have run into. So I'm going to show you how you fix it now. So there's two things you have to do. The first thing is I have OBS opened here and I have the remote software opened on this monitor. So if you drag that monitor over to the left, so the OBS and the remote application are in the same display, and we try again. You now see remote. Some people still can't see it even if they do this, so just make sure you tick show windows with empty names and then it should show up. And then we click remote. And there we go, it's working. So now we can drag this around like we did on the PC. We can resize it so it's full screen. And if you want to crop it, you just hold the option button and then you can crop that image down. There we go. And then we can resize that image to fit our display. A lot of people have said to me that the resolution doesn't look very good and it really does depend on how big the remote application is. So if I make the application smaller, the display of the application smaller, then you can see that my image goes smaller and that's gonna affect the resolution. 
if I make this as big as it'll go, like that, and then we can resize this again, the resolution is much better. Something else I should mention is if you still aren't seeing an image, if you can't get remote to talk to OBS, then go to system preferences, security and privacy, and then scroll down to screen recording and make sure you have a tick under OBS and under terminal. As you can see on my screen, my image is a little bit choppy and that's because of the power of my computer. That's nothing to do with the USB cable, nothing to do with the camera. The choppiness is all about the power of the computer. That's why some people find it works really well and some people find it doesn't work very well at all. This is quite a low powered MacBook Pro. If you've got a higher powered MacBook Pro or you're using it with a desktop machine, it should work perfectly. It's working, it's not a perfect solution by any means, but this is how you can use your Sony camera as a webcam on a Mac. It does work, it's much more complicated than it is on a PC, but hopefully I've broken it down enough so that anyone can do this. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like the video if you liked it, subscribe if you're not already. This took me a lot of effort to get this working and to show you guys how to do it. And if you have any problems or questions, please put them in the comment section below. If you want to help support the channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. You can support me for as little as $5 a month and it helps me make more videos like this for you guys. Thank you for watching and I will see you again very soon.